So I'm when it's packed. I've never been here before. To win this pass. I've been to the world famous Mam Tour, which is just to my left lots and lots of times. <sighs> oh. Now, I've researched this place quite well. I've watched loads of YouTube videos, watched Flickr. Oh. Oh. So I know where to stand. There's this place, there's one just in front of me, there's one further behind, and there's one quite away, away with a guy in a tent. So I've planned sunset, planned the weather, after I've used Google Maps, Google Terrain, Google Earth. Google Earth's quite good because you can get quite low down, you can get a sense of perspective, but with YouTube videos, I'll link a few below that were very helpful to me. It gives you a feet, a foot on the ground perspective so you can see what people have done before you. Now because it's my first trip, I'm not going to trouble myself or be too anxious if I don't get anything different. The clouds in the direction I'm going to photograph, there's quite blanket clouds and there's some mist in the valley. But the clouds behind me, are ah, lovely and fluffy so I'm hoping they move across there and the mist vanishes. I've been to Mamto about six times now in the hope of a inversion. I've never got one. I'm hoping there may be some mist tomorrow which will be very nice. For those who have been here before, as you drive up the pass you can come up or you can turn right and there is a dead end right at the top. There's a parking area which you can park in. I'll be sleeping in the car tonight. I did provisionally book uh, a campsite, but it was £12 a night. Lynn, the lovely Lynn, mentioned sleeping in the car, hadn't it? So I finally folded all my seats down. I'm going to sleep in there tonight. I've got no covers for the window, but that's something I can look at at some point in time. So for this location, I don't think I'm going to get any lovely colour in the sky. So what I'm looking to do, hopefully, and it might be a late night, is catch some car trails, cars going down the mountain. From this perspective, I can get the road in the lower left of the frame leading and sweeping down the valley, the pass. So that's what I'm looking at doing. What I'll do, I'll sweep you around so you can see what I'm going to do. Again. The perspective or the, the, as, the aspect ratio in the camera will be different because oh, it's a different aspect ratio when I'm shooting in the video. I've probably gone very dark because I've got some grads on. Uh, so what I'll do, I'll move you. Uh, next time you see me, I'll be where I'm looking to set the photograph. Yeah, again, it's, very, it's a very different pers perspective. But it is something like that. The lower side is quite, you know, pretty much what I'm going to do. You shift the grud around slightly, yeah. So you've got the sweeping line taking you right down into the valley. And I'm hoping when it gets dark that there are some cars drive up and down that road. Down will be ideal to get the red tail lights. If I can get a few cars going down the valley into the town down there, I'll be very happy with that. It probably will be a case of using the live combo because that just records additional light to the scene so I can leave the shutter open for an extended period, period of time. Yeah, as you can see, the sun is rapidly setting. Can I show you the other places? Ugh. Again, you have 
We have the one there, the one there, and that's where the chaps. And that's where the chaps camping. So I'm going to have a quick mooch up there. I'm going to go there, I'm going to go there, I'm not going to go right round there. So I'll have a look at that now. See ya. So, whew, second location. Oof. This is a bit uh, iffy in the wind. Wow, that's one hell of a drop. Yeah, this is not working as well. It's a lovely vantage point. You've got a lovely, a lovely panorama to be had. But the lower right of the frame, but in the lower right of the frame, you can't quite see the road because of the rock just in front of where I'm stood. That wind is a bit, oh, move back a bit. Yeah, it's just obscuring the road. And I'm not sure what the next one along will be like. I don't think it'll be an improvement over my first composition. Because the farther round I go, the more of this road I'm going to lose. And I only have a 24 full frame equivalent on my Olympus. So I'll have a look, see what it's going to be like. Whoa, how unfit am I? So this is the second, well, third of the uh, compositions. I've got the first one where I stood initially, where I'm going to photograph from. I've got this second one here. I've got the second one which I've just stood on. And you've got the third one just here. There's some lovely light forming. Obviously, the higher up I get, the more of the sun is visible. But again, there's still that very pronounced band where the sun is dipping below the horizon or the hill. Yeah, the horizon. This, ooh, this is much better. Much, much better. God, I've got many sheep running across the road. You've got a lovely sweep here. I'm wondering, I'm wondering. I can do both compositions. I can do the first one and I can do this one. I am not going to stand on that. Sorry, the platform is actually much more pronounced than it is over there. And that's a big drop, so I'll give that a miss. Yeah, I think it's going to be the first one or the third one. It shows my back. The first one. Well, I've taken a few test shots on the third one. With the second one, you missed loads of the road. With this, you've got all of the road in. I'm not sure how much of the road I'll be able to get in with shooting at 24 full frame equivalent on my Olympus. In actual fact, I think if you went very wide, you would introduce quite a lot of distortion. So I'm going to have a go first Composition, second competition. I'm not going to go any further because I know if I go any further, I will be tempted to stand on top of that bloody pillar. That hair seems to be shifting slightly. The clouds seem to be getting a little better. There's some lovely darker clouds that are going to hove into view any second now, and the clouds are casting some lovely shadows on the valley in front of me again. I can just see the tip of the cement works to my right on my rear. A few people on top of Manto. I'm just going to shake. Ugh, one bar left. Yeah, this is nice. I may actually do a few panoramas from here. The only problem with that is I may get the same car in each frame with them coming down. Quite busy. The rocks have some glorious textures. There are a few caves. There's one over there, got a large one. There's a smaller one down there. 
Anyway, I'm going to get back to my first composition to see what that's like. There's a bloody pallet over there. How strange. So it will be wide shots. Again, I've been taking test shots at F11 to get a nice depth of field. Sunset is in. Let's have a look. Sunset is in about an hour and a half. So I've got time for a, a bar, chocolate and a drink. So I shall do that. I would love to have the uh, courage to camp up here. I really would. Everybody's got bloody camper vans now. So nobody wants to camp anymore. Yep, anyway, let's get back. Temperature's dropped a little bit as well. 